and very interesting project you have there, a new airline in West Africa. Can you just talk us through the investment case that you uh, did to, to start a startup company or in the airline industry in West Africa right now? Yes, in fact, thank you for the, for the call. Uh, in fact, we are launching a new airline because we feel that in West Africa, uh, air transport is a difficult thing. Uh, because you have to travel through different locations in order to reach West and Central Africa. And for this reason, uh, we have uh, built up a new scenario and a new uh, setup of air transport with a hub in Abidjan uh, from where we link to different cities in West and Central Africa. I see the, the maiden flight should be between um, Abidjan and Dakar, but at what point would you be moving into, say, Nigeria? Nigeria clearly a huge market in West Africa. Uh, Nigeria we will uh, include in our network in a second stage after the first initial period of uh, five months uh, because we have first uh, built our network on the French-speaking uh, community and afterwards, we, in a second step, we launched the English-speaking uh, communities, not only Nigeria, but uh, also the other English-speaking countries in uh, West Africa. Talk to us about those backing this project. Uh, we know Air France is involved. We know quite a number of um, countries within um, Francophone uh, West Africa are also involved. Sorry, I couldn't hear you anymore. Yes, I said, can you just talk us through the people back in this project? Um, I know that Air France is involved and several West African states, Francophone West African states are involved as well. Yes, uh, we have uh, built our partnership with Air France uh, for the know-how and all the procedures which go with the build-up of a new airline. And uh, we are building our uh, new airline also based on partnerships. And we have made a strong partnership with uh, Group Celestere, who is already present in Mali and in Burkina. Uh, and we uh, will operate the three airlines together in future. All right. And of course, um, it will be always interesting when you hear about startups to know what your projections are. What are your expectations for this project and what kind of returns are you anticipating for this investment? Uh, I, uh, I'm very sorry, I didn't get your question. Yes, the I, line is quite bad. Okay, uh, let me try that again. I want to find out your expectations from this project in terms of returns. What type of returns are you anticipating from investing in the airline industry in West Africa? Well, first of all, you know, uh, Ivory Coast does not have an airline anymore since uh, approximately 18 months. Right. And I think a country without an airline uh, is uh, going into isolation or is depending a lot on other countries. And in fact, uh, as in Nigeria or other big countries in uh, this area, there is a big domestic market. And this domestic market here in, uh, in Ivory Coast has been sh shaken up uh, by the crisis, divided, and uh, travel made very difficult. And we have an ambition as well as from early 2013 to launch the domestic network in order to develop again the interior of uh, Ivory Coast in this respect.